stand living on a military base. <laughs> I don't even, I really don't even know how to start out this video. Also, now someone is mowing. <laughs> I can never win. I apologize if there's any background noise. Um, I can't really help that. <laughs> I really just wanted to sit down and make this video. I have never really made a video like this before, not that I can count of. And the reason for that is because I've always wanted to keep my channel like upbeat, happy, show like the happier parts of my life. And it's extremely hard to kind of filter out the bad. Um, so I'm kind of here to talk about the bad some of the bad that's been going on in my life lately that I do want to share and I want to talk about because I kind of just want to get off my chest and it's also kind of explaining to you guys why I've been pretty inactive lately like the past few months I haven't made videos um, I've been still kind of active on Instagram but not as much as I was before and it's been bothering me like the fact that I haven't been in a like active but I've been just going through so much. Before I get into this video, I want to give a trigger warning for mentioning of health related issues and mental health. If any of that triggers you, I would advise you to click off this video now. I've been inactive for quite a while online. I haven't been making as many videos as I used to and I haven't been posting as much on Instagram. I've been dealing with a lot of health issues for the past few months and it's been really keeping me from being able to do anything. As most of you know, I struggle with postural orthostatic tachycardia, tachycardia syndrome, or known as POTS for short. It's still a pretty recent diagnosis as uh, it's been a little over a year now. Sometimes it really likes to kick me in the butt more than other times. And right now it's just been ongoing for months. If you don't know what POTS is, it is a form of dysautonomia that affects the autonomic nervous system and in which it affects the heart rate and blood pressure mostly, but it can have other symptoms like nausea, brain fog, lightheadedness, and etc. If you want to learn more about POTS, because I'm not going to go into full detail in this video, but if you want to learn more, there's going to be a link down below in the description. The past few months, I've been continuously having flare-ups is what I like to call when my POTS is affecting me more than usual. Um, that term is used a lot and you know, people who have this condition and stuff. It's just like a never ending ache in my body that is just so painful. I've been having unusual readings with my blood pressure and because of that, my heart rate has been affected as well. Um, it's been higher than normal, so that's been great. Uh, this was all starting to happen before I got pregnant but since I am now, I've, I can tell it's getting worse because my body is trying to manage growing a human body and on top of that, having disabilities. It's basically almost becoming impossible to do everyday life tasks. I mean, like <laughs> I've been finding myself laying in bed all day and if I'm not laying in bed, I'm sitting on the couch and then I just feel guilty for not doing anything productive in that day but then as soon as I go to do something I just feel awful doing it and it's it's really hard to explain but it's just hard to do physical things and even just simple things like taking a shower or you know doing the dishes or even doing the laundry like that stuff just becomes so exhausting so I've just found myself literally sitting on the couch or laying in bed and then just having guilt for not doing anything productive so it's just been this vicious cycle i've just had no motivation or energy to do anything and when i say anything i literally mean getting out of bed it's gotten to that point i have been seeing many doctors over the course of the few months and i have found myself getting stuck in this vicious cycle where I'm going back and forth and still not receiving the medical attention that I need. I have currently found a possible option for me when it comes to medical care, but it just seems like no doctor has any information for it or could even get me set up to get that medical care that I know would help me. So I've kind of just been dealing with this and a lot of pain for the past couple of months. Now while contacting doctors and just getting no help from any of them, it just feels like it's an endless cycle. It has had a huge impact on my mental health as well. I have found myself not participating in hobbies 
that I have. Uh, Storm's training has fallen behind. I've had no motivation for my photography or even to go out to take pictures at all. This is another reason why my Instagram has kind of slowed down a little bit. Obviously videos have slowed down as well. It's been it's been pretty rough, you know, not not feeling that well pretty much all the time. Feeling just invalidated from doctors, not receiving the help that one I know would help me or two just even getting any options really um, besides medications because those do nothing for me. And like I mentioned before, I do think that, you know, this pregnancy is causing it to be worse because I am dealing with, you know, normal pregnancy symptoms and then on top of being disabled and having, you know, that part of my life that affects me physically already as it is every day. I've just had no motivation and I do apologize for not having any videos. I also do apologize for this video. It may not be interesting or what you were looking for, but I just want to start opening up a little bit more and just talking about these things because you know I, I really want to document and just have something to look back on so that when I do get better I can look back at my struggles and be like I, I you know I got better I I'm doing better I did it I just have to keep fighting and it's so hard to do but I just gotta keep fighting um, getting through doing the best that I can uh, even if laying in bed is all I can do to get by, I'm still getting by. That's just how you have to kind of look at it. Hopefully I will get better. I'll get more motivated to make more videos. Um, I do have a couple of video ideas um, coming up, so I'll be able to make those. I know that a few of you are probably looking to have a pregnancy slash baby update. I will have one of those soon. I actually go to my next appointment in two weeks, so I'm excited for that. I really appreciate you guys watching this video and staying to the end. I know this isn't probably the type of video to mention this, but if you've noticed my shirt, um, I did come out with a new merch design like months ago, like literally back in February I released this but I don't think I've ever mentioned it in a video because I really haven't been making any. So I thought I would go ahead and just mention it now because I am wearing it right now. Um, this design was inspired by the fact that we live in Hawaii now and just nature is gorgeous here and I've always had a nick for nature. So I really kind of wanted a new design to show for that, I guess. Um, I really love it a lot. It's gorgeous, it's pretty. Um, it has the visual moss on the back, and yeah, so you can go check that out at the merch store. The link is in the description as well, um, and yeah. Sorry, I have Storm on my lap. You can't even I'm gonna see if I can move the camera. I've got Storm on my lap here. That's what I keep looking down at. She's so helpful when I'm not doing well. She's been a great girl, haven't you? And if you guys are asking where Cloud is, she's <laughs> passed out on her, the bed right there. So that's what they are doing. So yeah, um, anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I actually feel a little better now that I got that off my chest, but hopefully I'll get back into doing things and just be patient with me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Mm -hmm.